world champion or a revengeful Spartacus were the most likely to win, but in the end, the victory went to a racer used to being a domestic. For his 15th Paris Roubaix race, Matthew Heyman triumphed after 257 kilometers. Ten days to his 38th birthday, the Australian became the fourth oldest winner of the trophy. Boonen was a tire away. He missed the success the five time winner would maybe never be in position to claim again. At the start in Compiègne, two names were on everyone's lips. Peter Sagan, winner of the Tour of Flanders, and Fabian Cancellara for his farewell on the Hell of the North. Both men were the favorites to win the Queen of Classics. For them and the others, the main difficulty, as always, will be to tackle the cobblestone section. 27 parts will be met on the second half of the race. 15 men decided to attack before reaching the sectors. Sylvain Chavanel of Direct Energy, Eamon or Ricky Greenage or Puccio for Steam Sky. They all tried to increase their advantage before the pavé. The effort paid off. At Montchou sur Ecaillou, the leading group was four minutes ahead. In the cobblestone section, number 20, Etix Quickstep accelerated. Tony Martin, winner of the stage on these roads on the last Tour de France, made some damage among the main field. Of all the favorites, only Tom Boonen, his team leader, and Norway's Edvald Wassenhagen managed to follow. As a consequence, with 113 kilometers to go, Cancellara, Sagan or Tepstra were already forced to counter-attack. The power struggle for the win rarely started this early. At the Troué d'Arembert, the world champion and his main rivals were one minute behind Boonen's group. Of course, this strategy cost time to the escapees, who soon were caught by Boonen, 60 kilometers from the Roubaix velodrome. The junction sounded as an alarm for Cancellara, who worked on the Orchi cobblestones to bridge his 50-second gap. Peter Sagan took the Swiss wheel, and they had favorable circumstances. Puccio and Ro of Sky both successively crashed. However, things turned bad at the end of the mont saint section for Fabian Cancellara. A mud puddle blocked his wheel and Terpstra fell along. 50 kilometers to the finish line, the race was lost. The outcome was the same for Peter Sagan, the iconoclast who liked up to help and support in the back to claim another classic race success. Five men were still in contention at the Carrefour de l'Arbre, 17 kilometers to the finish line. Seb van Mark chose that moment to try and avoid a sprint finish. The Belgian, second in 2013, went off in the front, but his advantage didn't last more than a few kilometers. Then Matthew Eamon and Tom Bonen tried their luck just before Roubaix. And on the velodrome, the Orica Greenwich rider launched the sprint and fought to clinch the most important success of his career. Breakaway, but I only went once. I really, really saved my legs there, and then I saved all day. And in the final, I could tell that the other guys were also pretty tired. And um, we raced really hard the last 5k with attacks, and I just played the game, and uh, I was lucky. Behind Heyman and Boonen, a heroic Jan Stannard completed the podium, second in 2013 and fourth in 2014. Seb von Marx seemed very strong, but the Belgium had to settle for another top five position ahead of Boissenhagen. This 114th Hell of the North was worthy of the spring classic expression with a beautiful sunbeam shining all day over the region. Hopefully, on the flesh well on April the 20th, the heart of the Ardennes, it will be the same.